Every polling location needs at least three workers to run efficiently and many times they have more. Some people who help run those polling locations at places like Redeemer Church behind me say that they do it as a sense of duty to their fellow voters. And I feel like this is a good way to give back to the community. Fill out section one. Okay, so. Poll workers like Dan Quinn have been a staple in democracy for a long time. Hello. But the secretary of the Cleveland County Election Board says fewer people uh -huh. are stepping up to help these days. It's a good community service, uh, but like I said, it's summer, people are on vacation, they get sick, whatever. We're just needing workers. I'll take that right here. They're asking for as many volunteers as possible. There's really no such thing as too many workers because you're supposed to have three at the polling place, but a lot of times we'll send out extra sets if it's a larger precinct. And with many counties growing after the last census, places like Cleveland County have to find even more volunteers. We gained 21 precincts, so that's 60 something more people working that we need on top of what we had. Anyone who is interested can apply at the election board and get to work on the training process. They get paid, yes, they get paid uh, up to $110 for the day. And along with the pay for the day, volunteers can receive a stipend for training. Although current election officials say it's about more than just the money. It's just good to be able to meet people, communicate with people, and help bring the governmental process to to the public. The election board did not have a specific number of volunteers still needed. They just said that they're pushing for as many as possible. Early voting starts tomorrow. You can reach out to your local county election board if you'd like to volunteer.